down for yourself. I'm going to go face up. Okay. Do you have a fusion shot? No. Okay, pops Front, just 
Surprisingly, we have, we did bench the other day. I haven't benched in forever, and I was still able to hit your routine ten times, and with no shoulder pain at all. Jeez. Like I was like, okay. yeah. I guess uh, standing we do the uh, the loop for now. Yeah. That would be a good show, man. I think he he might win that show. Depending on who shows up. Do they have the? The Tahoe show this weekend, which is the same. There are three shows going on this weekend. They have the Tahoe show, which is this guy Chris Means' show, which is the same, the Ferdinand no show, it's the same, the same uh, production. And then they have the uh, the Vegas show, which is the, Vegas, the Sin City showdown. Yeah. And then since Muscle Contest took over the all the Expo shows, yeah. they had that show going this weekend too. There's three fucking shows going this weekend. It was crazy. The guy that won the the Tahoe the Tahoe show yeah. for, for classic overall. Yeah. Horrible. Really? Horrible man. Like, like I might like, again it might have been a picture, but still I mean, he just didn't like it. he was there. Like just a lot of body parts missing. Lays it pretty good though. Just a lot of body parts missing. It's not really good one. Yeah, I'm sure that we'll see him doing the other movie like he'll be up his body. Mm-hmm. Nothing else Did you ever talk to Mary about using her? Cause she, you know, she has a little room in freaking gold, right? Really? No. Yeah, and that little, she has a little uh, room in gold in the front. Or she did. I don't know if she does anymore. But then that little, little gym with our front, the yeah. little gym. Yeah. There's a little back room that, that the door. You know, the two back restrooms at Gold's? There's a door right there. Oh, I've seen that. That's yeah. her door. Oh shit. Yeah. So that's why I was more interested in it because it's never, I don't think it's ever been used, but I've been in there a couple of times and she's adjusted me. I've been over there because she's never at her record in office. Yeah. So I always have her adjust me at goals. Yeah, because I was, uh, he were told me I should like do like a demo or something anywhere. I just like post up, have like tools and stuff, but I, I just didn't know how they would do it with. Same way they do with salvation. Yeah, just do them and talk to them. They'll, they'll let you do it for sure. It's actually one of the one of the dudes in there. You know Chad? Um, one of those shorter guys who works there? 
Yeah, I think so. I don't know what name, but yeah. But no. Anyway, she, uh, she she put me on this corporate membership, so I got my membership comped. Nice. Because I guess I can see her about. I don't know how he heard about it. He's like, yeah, I heard about your job situation. That sucks. And I was like, so if you look like you're on there, man, that's good though. Yeah. You know, you, you do all the shit you're doing right now. Dude, I gave my shit to John Bob Van Dam today. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, I was like, fuck it, dude, whatever. There you go. That's funny. I was like, dude, that's nuts. Yeah. And then I saw him. I saw him. Cal, I gave him too. But yeah. He was at the FedEx show. I saw him. Yeah, that was the FedEx show. It was alright. It was really small. It was dead. I saw some video from today. It was dead. I was supposed to go to the day too. I'm like, no, I'm like, yeah, dude, no way. I'm not driving all the way down there. And then we ended up, hit, we ended up hitting that uh, Fit Nation gym oh, yeah. on the way back. Oh, okay. Pretty cool, man. I like that. It was a beautiful gym, dude. And it's not all like, God, I don't even know. It's just nice, man. They have literally every fucking piece of equipment you could possibly want. Just like Gold's. You know, it's not as big, but. Oh, wait, was that the place you posted out with like yellow? Dude. That has a sick Dude, sick equipment. So I always got as well just go to like the gym just trying all the yeah. right machines. And then like the owner came in as we were leaving, I went and talked to him, Sam, went and talked to him. And he was like, thank you so much for you know coming. Like he's just super super nice. Like just all about freaking, you know. Build a big business and yeah, we'll talk about it. Man, it's like a good ten bucks too. What? Yeah, like you need gold, like gold for a day five to twenty five bucks. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, he's like, man, you know, I wanted to build a gym that people wanted to come to and not like, you know, have to spend freaking thirty dollars or twenty. Because at the end of the day, if you want them to buy, just buy a membership and like, yeah. Yeah, you know, if you're there you for know, a week, you have to just like buy a membership. Exactly. Just, you know, he was telling me, he's like, yeah, I want people to buy some merchandise too. So if they come here, they spend $20 on a fucking day pass, and not going to buy anything else. That's they come buy $10, they might, they might buy a $10 shirt. You know, they might buy a fucking other shirt. Exactly. And the day pass is fucking worthless, you know, as far as profit standpoint. Yeah. And the doors are going to be open anyways. Yeah, exactly. So, That's just going to push people away. Yeah. What does that mean? Better, actually. Maybe she just feels the number. Yeah, the last few, so this last show especially, like whenever I do like a front double bicep, I uh, went down the front delt like, where, where you're at, yeah. and like kind of twitch a little bit, yeah. and then it would relax. Like, it was like, like it was cramping. Five days a week, I've been doing home health, and then I mean, I'll see like three, three to four patients a day in the morning, and then on up work on later, later at night. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just doing like something like that. I mean, I don't know, but it's like I enjoy doing this type of work for sure. Yeah, I bet you probably just more enjoy doing this than the home health. But uh, you gotta pay the bill, man. I mean, it's cool because all the geriatric population always really just like appreciates what you do and everything. It's not like a patient clinic where people are like, oh, yeah, just come work on my sugar. I'm like, yeah. okay, Linda, <laughs> just yeah. so you can go back to doing random shit that's just going to hurt you all the time. Thank you. 
see more pages and it's a little migrated. Oh. Gym, 
which is just like, I'm like literally, there's leg equipment in the corner. You can't even use it because it's just been sitting and it's just been like stored, like clearly like a, a, a standing hamstring curl machine. And you can't even use it because it's, like, one of the other machines is so close to it. No way. So you know nobody's even used this stuff. Oh yeah. So and you go, like, dumbbells are up to like 110 or 120. Um, dude, it's really fucking nice. I'll show you a picture on my phone. And uh, he has two two hanging uh, boxing bags like right in the, in the corner over by the leg stuff. And then he has an extra room for like, I think he does like, he used to do like Zumba or like, I don't know what he used to do in the room, but it's a small, maybe max 20 person, 15 person comfortable room. So I can do some other stretching and box. Like, it's, it's really fucking nice. So only, that's the only thing, just a parking situation. But he's talking about getting ballet or doing something. And now it's just a, but like, he owns, he owns the building, so it's like, he didn't even have a freaking elevator in the thing. It's two stories. What? That's against code, you know? Yeah, dude. That's true, yeah. You know what I mean? Anybody wheelchair access yeah. and everything like that. Well, that's why Reggie's not going there, because he has a, a lady, two people that are in wheelchair. Or one's in wheelchair, and the other one is, he's trained her for like 15 years or 10 years, something like that, who literally has a walker. And so she can't get upstairs to the gym. So that's like the only reason why he's not going there. How the hell is a doctor? Well, he's, so right now he's renovating the place. So it's under construction. I think he's putting an elevator in. But yeah, I think he's been under construction for like six months. Jeez. So he said that he's going to basically get on the ball now and do it all. Because now he literally has 15 trainers that are going to be there full time. 15 now? Well, That's how many other place? Yeah, full time ones. There's probably about, I think there's 12. And then there was, and then there was probably a good maybe 20 that would pop in and out. As far as for sessions, so you basically gonna do the same rates that we had before, and then just bring everybody over there. So and we're all like, what do you pay like six hundred, six fifty. Is it really? like golds? No golds didn't allow anybody else, but I think they're eight. Really? Yeah, that little more expensive. That's so much better than like per freaking. Yeah, well, up. so the numbers I did, if I, as long as I do four sessions, I think it's four sessions a week, yeah. or five sessions, maybe five or six, literally a week. Then that's what I would pay for six fifty. And I do like at least probably thirty sessions a week, at least. Yeah. If not more. I mean, you did you did about six a day, maybe seven or eight on a, on a busy day. But I try to schedule it to where it's three or four break, three or four. Oh yeah. So. What do you charge per session? Seventy five. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obviously. But. But usually, right. usually I do, so like my average I usually get, I, I've, uh, I often do the numbers, like my average is usually like 63 and a half. Because there's some people I'll do like, if they want to come for like three months, then I'll basically give them a deal of like 60 bucks, but they pay for all three months, all right. 12 weeks, all, out. all up front. So I'll kind of cut them a break. And then I got some people that I do, that I, I, I kind of as needed basis. They have one lady right now that I'm only charging 400, but she has to do two sessions a week. Per month. Oh, right. So, so they don't carry over. They don't carry over. Yeah, nothing carries over. So if she misses them, then she just gets her. Yeah, you know, it's on her. We have chance for 50 bucks. So I got a guy that I do, but he's been looking for like three years. And he gets 50 bucks too. That's how I've been doing it. People want to buy, I'll be 90 a session. And then if you want to buy three, it'll be 250 for three sessions. It's going to be like 83 bucks or something like that. Yeah. 
Um, so they're actually finalizing as far as, so last time I went, I went in May, I was talking to her about having some sort of like ad fund for us or like stipend per month. Yeah. And so she was talking about it and it's gonna be, I don't know how much it's gonna be, but she was talking like five or six hundred bucks a month, which is great. Plus our, plus our, uh, what we get monthly for the product. Yeah. And so basically what they do now is to sell you uh, basically what we do with Cellucor, what they do with Cellucor is they basically give you, you know, whatever it is a month, and then you have to do so many posts, but they have to be like, if you want to do videos, you can do videos, if you want to you can do ads, you can do ads, but basically do what they see, what she, what she said is that we just basically let you do whatever you want, like, if you want to just do personal training, they take or take pictures of that with the product or whatever, but they want to just make us more successful as, as a sense, like, it's pretty solid. Yeah, because they had they had Callum before, so he yeah. it, and they paid him. She was telling me they were paying him like six figures. Like, That's what I thought. And so, so they were like, it's just not worth it for us to basically put all this money into one person, and then all of a sudden he leaves and yeah. starts his own company. Yeah. And it's not like the the people don't stay with Study Corps. They stay because of him. And so now that not all the people they lost yeah. to staunch, you know. And so now they're out with all this marketing money and they can never get it back. You know what I mean? Sure. So, yeah. And then we were talking about, like, um, we were talking about, like, the whole shreds thing and how, you know, shreds, uh, they're like, they're not even there anymore. They're not even relevant. Yeah, I was like, I haven't seen anything. Like, because Joey Swole left too. Mm -hmm. He left. He was there at the expo, but he's, he left. Yeah, everybody left. So it's like, there's. I mean, you gotta, you don't market like, oh, there's all these new ways of marketing, but at the end of the day, the old school shit really works. Yeah, 100%. So, was, it, was that something similar, like you have a salvation? Like you paid like a stipend and then you got it? Yeah. How long you been with that? It'll be, December will be two years. Yeah. This any good one, yeah. Last year, no, not this year. I don't know. They haven't really even told us yet. So I doubt it, man. I really doubt they're going to do anything this year. I think they're still trying to figure out what the fuck they really want to do with Salvation, honestly. I think they just bought them because they were so profitable, and now they're trying to figure out where they really fit in. I mean, it's a whole other market, but. You know, Sunnycore really was about the C4 and all that they're, they're really in the pre workout. Yeah. So then, how do you. You know, you just market the same flavor. I don't. I don't even know what they're doing. I really don't. Quakes can be gone. Yeah, I don't think Quakes can be gone. Quakes not gonna last. Especially at the price point they have, like C4 app. Yeah, well, you can go to freaking Costco and buy two big ass thirty servings of C4 for thirty bucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you can't compete with that. And now you're and now you're competing with your own product. Basically, so for a full day's work, so like when she goes to the shows and stuff, yeah. it's a little bit more than what she used to get paid. Right. So I think she used to do 150 bucks a demo or a uh, uh, a show or a demo. Right. So for That's her to go down to San Diego, she actually makes like 200 and something because of gas and you know the mileage. Right. Um, but the regular demos, she only she only gets like 80 bucks. So it's actually a lot less. Yeah, that's what it was. It was like. So I was doing it with you. I was getting 150 bucks for just doing a two-hour demo. Exactly. This product. Uh huh. Oh, product. Seventy-five yeah. for cash. Yeah. So basically, they just they took that. Yeah. They, yeah. Basically, yeah. they basically said we're only going to do cash, no product, and uh, it's basically 20 bucks or what, 18 bucks an hour. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah.